welcome back. I'd like to take this moment to show you the heart of the repair shop, which is the soldering station. Now this is my soldering station that I have set up here, and it's set up for both training and for immediate use. Uh, sometimes we get requests, we have to have something repaired in 10 to 15 minutes because the dock is currently waiting on somebody, and uh, they need a foot control or something like that put back together. So you never know what you're going to get. So we keep the soldering station nice and clean and prepped and ready to go in case anything comes in the door. But uh, from left to right, uh, here we have an isolated power supply, which is uh, absolutely vital if you're going to open something up and work on anything with potentially high voltages. Isolated power supply isolates you from earth ground so you don't have an electric shock hazard. Uh, I have my soldering station over here which is an Arroyo 2703 Alpha. It's a good soldering iron. It's not very expensive. I hardly ever use the heat gun from there. It's, I hate the heat gun. And also I removed the solder sucker because solder sucking just doesn't really work for me. Uh, that's another video. Usually I use solder wick and it's a much better technique. It's much cleaner, less, less hazard to the circuit boards. Most importantly is lighting. You can see here, I've got uh, two different lights. I've got an overhead light, and I've got a spotlight, which is a Walsh Allen LED light. Uh, both of these are excellent. I can position them around my work, and uh, they give off plenty of light. I've got a ESD safe mat. It's a rubberized mat, and it's also heat resistant, so I can drop my iron, I can drop solder balls. It's not gonna damage my nice countertop here. You see back here, I have my hot air station. It's a quick, uh, what is that, an 861DW. It's an excellent, excellent hot air station. As soon as you pick it up, it's ready to rock and roll. It takes only about 10 seconds for it to get to temperature. It's got three presets. I keep mine at 180 degrees, 300 degrees, and 400 degrees for solder. Um, this thing is absolute necessity because we do almost everything with shrink tube and uh, marine grade dual layer shrink tube at that. So this guy really puts out the heat and gets a nice even shrink. It looks very professional when it's done. Up here I've got a DC regulated power supply. Uh, this is also absolutely necessary uh, because you might have coils or something like that that's got a short and this guy here has current limiting so you're not going to explode a potentially expensive circuit board. So we have a DC power supply. Uh, I have various meters that'll be up here, um, depending on whatever I'm gonna be doing. I've got a Fluke 190 series scope meter, and I've also got a Fluke 289 uh, multimeter. I'll probably go over those in another video and uh, proper and general usage of them. But uh, you can see some of the other trinkets that are floating around. I've got uh, solder tip cleaners, flux, Super important to have good flux. I've got two different types of flux. One of them's a paste flux, it's generic, and the other one's an electronics flux. It comes in a syringe. Pan of ices. You got to do some good work holding. I've got a soft jaw and I've got rigid jaw. The pan of ices are wonderful. I love pan of ices. We've got a few of them floating around here. Uh, this guy over here, my microscope, is actually a AM scope. And uh, I've got the camera set up, you can see it's up there. And uh, I'll have people in the room, or sometimes I have to take screenshots to show the damages, the circuit boards. And uh, this is just an excellent, excellent microscope. I can't count how many times that this microscope's paid for itself already. Just because uh, I can see things, uh, especially around the edges of circuit boards on connectors and stuff. And uh, this guy has just been fantastic. I love this microscope, it's my baby. Back here, I've got an old Hewlett Packard uh, 3310 Alpha signal generator. Uh, this guy here doesn't really get used that often, but every once in a while you'll have a circuit that you want to test and you want to test safely. And uh, this guy is just an excellent way, especially since we're talking biomedical equipment. I can, uh, I can create like a, a 60 hertz sine wave or a square pulse or something, and we can trigger something that's supposed to trigger even on medical devices. So. Uh, this guy every once in a while will get used and uh, I'll probably do a video on how we can use that around medical equipment some other time. But uh, anyway guys, this is my soldering station. Uh, I generally try and keep it 
as clean as possible because this is the heart of the workshop. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, this is my preference on how to set one up. And uh, we don't use all that expensive of gear. You know, we repair up to million dollar equipment and uh, you know, we're using Chinese gear and it does the job. It does the job well. So, all right guys, thanks for watching.